We're fundamentally changing the way in which we search and retrieve information with these large language models and these new breakthroughs. So instead of using the actual word, we're now actually taking words and we're turning them into something called a vector. And the vector captures the concept and the nuance behind either the word or the phrase or the sentence or your question. It means that we can then go and search through all the products or all the web pages for other vectors. We turn everything in the index into a vector and then it becomes this kind of exercise where we try to find similar vectors just like you use words and try to match them with similar words and web pages. But it means that you can do really, really interesting things. To give you a really powerful example is if, let's say you go to a website and you actually want to shop for a specific brand. So let's say, I don't know, I want a kind of a North Face jacket. Um, and if the, if the site doesn't sell that brand, right, it's able to understand the concept behind the brand. So it understands North Face sells outdoor jackets and it can surface other outdoor jackets that are similar um, to North Face. We can actually find products specifically designed to solve those problems, even if the words that you're using when you describe the problem don't match the words in the product. How is this different from traditional search, whether on e-commerce sites or just, in, just broadly? Traditional search is literally just taking the literal words that you type in <laughs> and trying to find products that use those literal words. You know, a good example is if you wanted to search for chocolate milk or milk chocolate, these are two terms that have exactly the same words, but very different categories to search for. And so it can be very, very confusing sometimes for these search engines um, to be able to disambiguate the actual words. But when we can translate them into very specific concepts um, and really understand the intent behind them, um, then we're going to get far better, more accurate results. And I have to say, some of our um, early customers have just seen incredible increases in the amount of conversions um, and the amount of things that shoppers are able to buy because they're able to find it. We've known that vectors are a better way to represent concepts than words. We've known vectors work from a scientific perspective, and we can get great results in the lab. But it turns out that they're really hard to scale. Like. I mentioned we've got, um, we do about 1.75 trillion search requests a year across 17,000 different websites. And to be able to like apply vectors on every single query is really, really challenging. Vectors are very, very computationally heavy. They take up a lot of memory, both in the server, but also when you're training and storing them. And they're actually pretty slow and expensive to roll out. The breakthrough that we've recently had is um, we have figured out how to compress vectors. So we can actually compress them into like a 10 times smaller format, keeping the same kind of relevancy. Um, and uh, we can do it at extremely high speeds. We can take every single query across this 1.75 trillion and we can apply a vector search to them. 